Hello folks, this is Mike. Today's video is basically a buying guide for two-channel over-the-air antenna DVRs in general and for the TiVo Edge in particular. Now many people have these DVRs and they have good luck with them and they're perfect for them. However, depending on your viewing habits and your expectations, it may not be a good fit for you. So don't buy it if I've been using the TiVo Edge for about six months now, and I've really been impressed with its performance, its quality, and its features. As a matter of fact, about three months ago at Christmas time, I did another YouTube video on this same DVR, and that was an unboxing setup guide and review. And it really explains more of the nuts and bolts about how to set up and use this, this DVR. And there will be a clickable link at the end of this video and in the video description if you want to watch that. Now, I entitled this video, Don't Buy It If. And that's not because this is a bad DVR. Quite the opposite is true. But after six months use, I realized this won't be the perfect DVR for all viewers. Uh, matter of fact, there's things you really should know and consider before you buy this or any DVR. So we'll go over those. But first, before I tell you why you shouldn't buy it, <laughs> let me tell you why you should buy it, okay? Uh, but first, folks, we'd appreciate it if you go below, uh, like our video, subscribe to our channel, and ring that notification bell. The TiVo Edge is actually a quality DVR with a lot of great features like voice control, 4K playback, commercial skip, a sophisticated series recording feature, Dolby Vision, Dolby Atmos, and the ability to watch on your mobile devices. It features a pretty accurate two-week programming guide. Of course, you have to pay extra for this, monthly or weekly, whatever. Uh, but you can purchase it as a lifetime subscription when you purchase the DVR, and it's much more economical this way. And this is the way we bought ours. It also includes some limited streaming apps, and it does a great job of integrating those apps with your over-the-air programming from your antenna. Now, we stream 70 or 80% of our shows on our Amazon Fire Stick. And we rely on our DVR for our local news, sports, and weather, and the occasional show that we can't pick up on our streaming apps. So this thing is perfect for us. But why isn't it perfect for everyone? Now the problem with a two-channel DVR is that you can only take two shows at one time. Now if you're an avid antenna TV watcher, and you tape lots and lots of shows, uh, well, you may run out of capacity. Uh, notice this error message. What's happened here is I tried to tape three shows in one time spot. I, I had two series recordings. I tried to add one more, and it's telling me that I can't do it, that I'm going to have to either delete one of my series recording or delete the one that I'm trying to record. And if you tape lots of shows, you're going to have this situation over and over and over again. So what's the solution? Well, I would recommend uh, possibly moving up to a four or six channel DVR with a larger hard drive. Now don't buy the edge until you consider this. For every additional TV that you wish to watch it on in your home, you'll have to purchase a TiVo Mini Lux extender. And that's at $200 a pop. <laughs> okay, now they do offer a TiVo app. But the TiVo app allows you to watch it on your tablets and your phones and your PDAs. We try to download the app on our Rokus and our Fire Sticks to no avail. It just would not accept it and we weren't able to watch TV on those devices. Now if you know how to do that and make it work, be sure to comment and let me know. Now this DVR and many others on the market are connected to your television with an HDMI cord. If you have an old, old television and you don't have an HDMI input, you're not going to be able to make this connection. Now, having said that, there are adapters available on the market that will allow you to go from the HDMI to the old style hookups. So you may want to consider that. Now, I wouldn't buy it just for the streaming apps. Now, TiVo is ahead of the game here because many manufacturers of DVRs don't include apps at all. But there's just not enough apps here to entice a dedicated streamer like myself to give up my Fire Stick and my Roku, okay? 
Now they have some major ones. They have uh, Prime Video, Netflix, Vudu, Hulu, Pandora, YouTube. The apps they have do work very well. And actually on this machine, you can search for your favorite show uh, on streaming and on your antenna at the same time. It's integrated. Now they also have their own homegrown program here called TiVo Plus. And this includes over 50 apps arranged in a live TV format, which is popular with many people. My advice is that you should go to TiVo.com, chat with somebody, and make sure that your favorite apps are going to be available on the machine. Because many high-profile ones are missing, like Sling TV, Disney+, Plus, Paramount, and so on. Now, if you have a set with multiple inputs, you could put a dedicated streamer like a Roku or Fire Stick on one input and your DVR on the other. That way you get the best of both worlds. Let's talk about some of the special features now like 4K UHD and the channel skip function. Now these are great features, don't get me wrong. The problem is they're not as available yet as they should be. Now this is a case where the manufacturers are way ahead of the broadcast industry, okay? Uh, 4K for instance. Now this is a great thing to have, but understand that very few shows are actually offered in 4K UHD on broadcast television. Off your antenna, most everything you're going to get will be in HD or in standard definition. There will occasionally be a show that will come in 4K, like maybe the Olympics or the World Cup, something like that. But that is certainly not the norm. Now having said that, you can still get 4K programming on this DVR with your streaming apps. Netflix, Prime, and others may offer 4K programming. Matter of fact, I watch it on uh, my Prime video and it comes with the normal price of subscription. There's quite a few shows in 4K. Uh, and some, like Netflix, charge you an extra fee to get their 4K programs. So now let's talk about the commercial skip feature. And this is a great feature. Man, instead of watching four or five minutes of commercials on the commercial break, <laughs> you see like two seconds. Uh, the machine will just skip right through them and on back to your main program. It is awesome. Now when I bought the DVR, I naively assumed that I would get commercial skip on every single program. Well, that is just not the case. Look at this list of my recordings, and you'll notice that some have a skip icon. And those are the shows that you can actually get the commercial skip on. The rest of them you'll have to fast forward just like we did back in the old days. <laughs> so what's happened here? Well, apparently the broadcaster has to embed a code of some kind uh, that the machine recognizes and then does the commercial skip. Unfortunately, this only seems to happen on your major networks like ABC, CBS, NBC, mainly on prime time programs and some weekend programming. Now I've informed you about this 4K UHD problem and the commercial skip problem. And I'm doing this not to discourage you from buying the TiVo Edge or any other DVR that offers these things. Uh, main reason is I just want you to be informed and not be totally shocked when you get the device home and these things don't work, okay? Now to sum things up. The TiVo Edge is a quality DVR with many great features that I think put it clearly ahead of its two-channel competition. Not only that, it's got a good picture and it's easy to use. Now it does have its drawbacks, but I still think it's one of the best on the market. And I think it'll be a great fit for many, many people. I will put some paid links in the video description for the TiVo Edge and for the other products we mentioned in this video. Now I hope I've given you some food for thought today and I hope it will help you make an informed decision. So God bless, and until next time, thanks for watching.